During a new phase of certification flight tests authorized by the Russian Aviation Authority, the upgraded version of the ANSAT light multipurpose helicopter successfully completed a series of control flights designed to assess its resilience to ground resonance, one of the most risky dynamic phenomena in rotorcraft operation. The aircraft was operated by an honored test pilot and director of the flight test complex at the Aviation Authority, Nikolay Grigoriev. His responsibility was to evaluate the complete dynamic performance of the modified helicopter during the most demanding phases of flight, takeoff, landing, and ground control. According to the testing team, the helicopter showed stable, predictable, and secure performance across all operating modes, with no indications of resonance-induced oscillations. These results represent a significant milestone in the certification process of the modernized ONSAT and in enhancing its operational capabilities. Ground resonance is regarded as one of the most risky and destructive phenomena that can manifest in helicopters featuring an articulated rotor system. In these systems, each blade is capable of moving forward or backward relative to the axis of rotation, a movement referred to as lead lag. This flexibility enables the rotor to withstand aerodynamic forces while also posing a potential danger of oscillations. When a helicopter is stationary on the ground, particularly when equipped with springy, non-rigid landing gear, even minor disturbances can induce small deviations in the rotor's center of mass. If these minor oscillations coincide with the natural vibrational frequency of the landing gear, the two systems may begin to reinforce one another. This results in a self-reinforcing vibration referred to as ground resonance. Once triggered, the effect grows swiftly. Within moments, the helicopter may start to shake violently, occasionally in an uncontrollable manner. If not addressed promptly, either by removing the aircraft from the ground via takeoff or by closing down the rotor, the phenomenon may result in serious structural harm. In the most severe instances, the helicopter has the potential to literally disintegrate. This is why ground resonance testing is a crucial component of certification programs globally, particularly when a helicopter experiences substantial structural or component modifications. The Onsat helicopter has recently completed a comprehensive modernization initiative exemplifying a broader national endeavor to enhance technological self-sufficiency in aviation and lessen reliance on foreign suppliers. Central to this improvement was the substitution of the former foreign turboprop engines with domestically manufactured VK650V turboshaft engines. This engine replacement required the addition of new systems, the recalibration of the aircraft's mass distribution, and modifications to essential subsystems including fuel delivery, oil circulation, and temperature regulation. In conjunction with the engine improvement, the modernization included modifications to the airframe design, rotor hub assemblies, avionics, and landing gear. Even apparently minor modifications to these components can substantially affect the helicopter's overall dynamic behavior, necessitating meticulous engineering consideration. Alongside these structural and mechanical modifications, the aircraft met new certification requirements. Although the basic airframe remained largely unchanged, modifications in mass distribution, damping characteristics, and rotor dynamics necessitated extensive testing to verify safety and performance standards. A key aspect of the current certification procedure has been the assessment of ground resonance behavior particularly during critical flight phases, such as takeoff and landing. These improvements collectively emphasize the commitment to improving the ANSAT's capabilities while adhering to the rigorous testing standards mandated by the redesigned systems and engines. The certification program included a series of comprehensive tests aimed at meticulously assessing the helicopter's performance and stability. A critical phase entailed hovering close to the Earth, where the helicopter is most vulnerable to resonance phenomena. During this test, the pilots meticulously observed vibrations, blade movements, and the responses of the landing gear while sustaining a low hover. 
Another essential aspect of the testing centered on achieving seamless and swift takeoffs. This transitional phase, during which the helicopter transitions from dependence on the landing gear to attaining complete aerodynamic lift, presents considerable risk. Engineers meticulously monitored any oscillations that could occur as the landing gear started partial unloading, ensuring the preservation of stability. The program additionally covered several landing scenarios to evaluate the helicopter's performance across different conditions. Test pilots performed gentle landings, hard landings, and landings involving minor lateral or forward displacements. These various impact patterns enabled both pilots and engineers to monitor the performance of the landing gear and rotor system, offering essential insights into their durability and dependability. Rotor run-up and run-down evaluations were also vital elements. Ground resonance is most prone to occur when the rotor speed fluctuates through intermediate revolutions per minute ranges. To address this, engineers meticulously monitored rotor velocities, suspension performance, and the possible development of vibrations during these transitions. Throughout all these meticulous phases, the enhanced ANSAT exhibited consistent and dependable performance. No indications of hazardous vibration patterns were observed, even in scenarios explicitly designed to exert stress on the landing gear and rotor system. This comprehensive certification process verified the helicopter's preparedness and durability for operational deployment. According to the experts supervising the trials, the upgraded ANSAT exhibited a complete absence of the oscillatory escalation that normally signifies ground resonance. The rotor demonstrated stable operation throughout the entire revolutions per minute spectrum, with evenly coordinated blade lead lag movements that guaranteed seamless and reliable performance. The landing gear and suspension systems offered dependable stabilization, effectively preventing undesirable vibrations and ensuring overall stability. Importantly, there was no displacement of the rotor's center of mass during essential transition phases, thereby reaffirming the helicopter's structural integrity. These findings verify that the improved rotor and landing gear systems are meticulously calibrated to provide reliable suspension and strong structural stability, even in the most challenging operational environments. Test pilots reported that the helicopter exhibited predictable responses during both takeoff and landing with no unforeseen rotor system behavior. The landing gear remained stable throughout, enabling the aircraft to maintain structural equilibrium during all maneuvers. This feedback highlights the effectiveness of the modernization initiatives in improving the ANSAT's operational safety and dependability. The lack of ground resonance problems signifies an important milestone in the finalization of the certification procedure for the new ANSAT variant. This accomplishment offers strong reassurance across various aspects. First, the modernized ANSAT complies with essential safety standards. Dynamic stability, a fundamental requirement for rotorcraft certification, was comprehensively verified through successful testing. These tests verify that the helicopter's enhanced components are correctly integrated without compromising flight safety. Second, the ONSAT is prepared to assume expanded operational responsibilities. It has historically been employed in a diverse range of missions, including medical evacuation, passenger transportation, cargo delivery, law enforcement, and rescue operations and training flights. With its demonstrated stability and dependability, the enhanced version is positioned to expand its footprint within these critical applications. Third, confidence in indigenous engine technology has increased due to the successful integration and testing of the VK650V engine. This domestic power plant operates seamlessly with the upgraded airframe and rotor system, representing a significant milestone for the national aviation industry. Ultimately, the export potential of the helicopter remains far stronger than ever. Interest from international purchasers, particularly in medical and transportation configurations, has grown due to the rigorous safety assessments.
The successful execution of these comprehensive evaluations enhances the appeal of the Onsat to international clients, thereby expanding market opportunities for the platform. The success of the experiments can be attributed to several critical engineering decisions and enhancements. Advanced damping systems, such as upgraded shock absorbers, suspension struts, and dampers, are essential for dissipating vibrational energy and inhibiting the accumulation of oscillations. Improved rotor balance also plays a substantial role. Meticulous assembly of the rotor system, including accurate blade weight matching and precise tracking adjustments, reduces the likelihood of lead lag imbalances that may compromise stability. Additionally, the improved landing gear structure provides a more durable and uniform response, thereby minimizing the transmission of vibrations to the airframe. Furthermore, the rationalization of rotor control systems, integrating both electronic and mechanical enhancements, guarantees more seamless transitions during critical phases such as takeoff and landing. Together, these improvements establish a comprehensive system that ensures aircraft stability, particularly in scenarios where ground resonance could otherwise present a significant challenge. In final remarks, the certification flight tests of the upgraded ANSAT helicopter have confirmed that the modernized rotorcraft completely complies with the stability criteria essential for safe operation. The lack of any indications of ground resonance, even when subjected to intentionally rigorous testing conditions, affirms that the engineering modifications were implemented effectively. These results represent an important turn in the certification process of the new ANSAT and in its preparation for full-scale production. For operators, this signifies enhanced confidence in the aircraft's dependability, safety, and versatility across a broad spectrum of missions. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.